wonder, like, you were just a public member, couldn't you just walk out the door? And sure, I could have easily just walked out the door, but there's repercussions to walking out the door as well. Because they're telling you not only that you won't talk to any friends or family members that are inside the church, you know, our casting directors, our writers, producers, they won't work with you anymore because you're a suppressive person if you leave the church. So no one in the industry is going to now work with you. And I'm here trying my hardest to become a successful actor. And they're having a, obviously a lot of famous names in the church. So I'm thinking, oh, I don't want to, you know, upset in anything. You know, I want to make sure that those connections are still intact. Does this concern you, our having this conversation right now? Yes, of course it does. It's insanity. This is incredibly stupid. These are, these are not people you want to mess with. For his heresy, the church has labeled Haggis the hypocrite of Hollywood and says he has not been an active member for years. Did they come to your home? Did they send out slime email about you, anonymous email? Did they, other than just posting homophobic stuff on the web, did they personally do anything to you or Jeff? You know what, I was kind of surprised because I was expecting that because you hear so many stories from ex-members of all the fair game that happens. But besides the blog comments and the Facebook police, there really hasn't been any fair Good. game. And how are you? Because I, I hear it's, it's, uh, it's different than leaving another religion. So is it, are you okay? You can drink. <laughs> I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. Um, to answer your question, um, it was, you know, it's, it's, it's hard. And we're, uh, we have lost friends. We that can no longer talk to us who are still in the organization. Welcome to Holly's Scoop, I'm Stephanie Bauer. Kirstie Alley is very upset with her friend who made headlines for leaving, then dissing the Church of Scientology. Kirstie went on Howard Stern, where celebrities certainly don't hold back. Kirstie calls Leah Remini a repulsive bigot and her enemy. She also revealed she's blocked the actress from her Twitter account. I'm going through a personal big change for me and my family. In these behind-the-scenes moments from Dancing with the Stars, Leah Remini, wearing sweatpants and her hair back, fires a shot across the bow of the controversial Church of Scientology. The church is looking for me to fail so that they can say to their parishioners, you see what happens when you leave the church? Like, they're waiting for me to fail. Whatever you do, do not ask me. How's the job search? About that. <laughs> I handed out my resume to every restaurant in the city and got told to buzz off in 20 different languages. <laughs> at least at the Italian place, they pinched my ass and gave me a gelato. <laughs> but I just want to take up this one thing you said of they have all the directors of Hollywood and you'd be blacklisted. This is all bogus. This is bloviating. Right. What famous director do they have in Hollywood that you would lose, you know, an audition from? Isn't this all hype and spin? They don't exactly. own Hollywood. I mean, come on, Travolta and Cruz and Ali have been around 25, 30 years. They don't have any other A-lister. Right. They have minus B, C, D-lister names. Then they don't have any other A-lister, do they? That no. you know of? That's the thing, their celebrities that they have now are older and washed up and they're not even really doing anything anyways. The casting directors and the writers and producers, they're very far and few between. There may be, you know, you can count them on one hand maybe, and they're not really doing much anyway. So yeah, it's just all hype and Scientology wants to pretend like they control Hollywood and um, it's really not the case. Leah Romini just is just flying. Now she got her own reality show. 
<laughs> right. Her coming and speaking out didn't do a damn thing to dampen her career. Right. It only, like, helped, it only helps your image leaving Scientology because it has just such a negative connotation being associated with Scientology that these celebrities come out like Leah and all of a sudden now they have really, you know, thriving careers. So Scientology is really not what they say it is in terms of helping you with your career. It's only like having a black mark on your resume if you call yourself a Scientologist. Thank you.